Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's tutorial for Adobe Lightroom, we're going to be taking a look at a new feature added to the latest version of CC 2015. And that's 2015.6. And the new feature they've added is they've basically souped up the way that you can deal with upright problems in your images. So if you look at the image we have in front of us, you can see that it's taken from quite a low angle and therefore we've got a converging verticals problem. So the image isn't perfectly straight and it tapers in towards the top. Well, we've always had the options to create the a way to sort of auto correct this or to use level or vertical or full. We've now got a new option, which is called guided. And in this video, I'm going to take you through how we can use this new feature to correct the vertical problems in our images. So let's take a look at how we do that right now. So the first thing we're going to do before we start transforming this image is we're going to go to the lens correction tab. We're going to check remove chromatic aberration and we're going to enable the profile correction. As you can see that now corrects part of the problem with the image. We're now ready to move on and we can start editing the image and we can start working with the transformation tools. So let's expand that. And as you can see, we have six options available to us where previously we only had five. We now have the new addition of the guided option. We also have all the sliders underneath, which we're going to take advantage of in a moment. But to start off with, let's click and enable guided. And as you can see, nothing really happens except for the fact it tells us drag two or more guides to customize perspective correction. So what it expects us to do now is to look for vertical and horizontal lines or reference points within our image. And we'll use those as the basis to correct both the horizontal and the vertical lines that we're having a problem with. So this is a good example of a building. You can see that we have plenty of vertical and horizontal lines we can use as our reference points. And you'll see once we take the mouse over the screen, we now get a loop view, which allows us to make sure that we are pinpointing exactly where we want within the picture itself. So we can kind of zoom in and see, right, that's where we're going to start off. So I can click and hold that down and I now get my first reference line. So we can do this. So I'm following the vertical line of the building. You can see we've got a nice vertical line. If we need to adjust that, we can simply come in, re-grab the handles and position that exactly as we want to make sure we've got it right where we want it to be. You'll notice nothing happens. That's because we've only got one reference point. We need a minimum of two to start working with the image and start correcting. So the next thing we're going to do is come over to the left hand side and repeat the process with this particular pillar on the left. So we'll come up to the top, come in as close as possible. There we go. So I click, drag that down, come down then to the lower portion of the pillar, let go. And that now automatically starts to correct for the first set of problems we have. So there's the verticals corrected. If we need to make adjustments, we can come in at any point and adjust any of these handles to realign it. And that will just give us the ability to fine tune. We still have the horizontal problem. You can see it still runs down from the right to the left. So we're just going to correct for that. And I'm going to go to the top of the building to start off with. And we're going to use this point as our first reference. So we'll draw our line in there. Get that as close as possible. And you can see that now starts to adjust the top part of the picture. So we're going to do the same now for the bottom. We're going to find this line. I'm going to draw a line across. Once we let go, there's our image corrected. So we've now got an image that's squared off much better than the original. Problem we have is now obviously we've got these cropped areas or we've lost these areas where we've had to correct. So We've got a perspective correction and we just now need to crop into the picture. And this is where we can start using the transform tools and we'll take a look at those now and we'll see how that allows it to affect the image to get a great final result. Okay, so we're now ready to start transforming the picture to make sure that everything is cropped and nice and neat the way we're happy with it and to make sure that our vertical and horizontal angles are all the way we want them to be. Now, if you find these guidelines are a little distracting, you can just come over to this little circle and you can click on there to close those down, click on them to bring them back, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is Shift and T. So if we press Shift and T, once we'll hide, second time we'll bring them back. So they're still there, we can just turn them on and off as we need them. So let's take a look at the transform tools. Let's see what they do. If we take the vertical one, you can see that now adjusts the image on its vertical axis. So we can make sure that we can adjust that to exactly as we want if we find there's still some problems in there. The same with the horizontal. The rotate, as his name would suggest, allows us to rotate the image. Now we've kind of counteracted most of these issues by using the guided option. 
the way we're going to come in and start using them is we can start to use the scale to allow us to zoom into the picture so we can instead of cropping we can just zoom into it going to give the same kind of effect i suppose but we scale that up get to the point where we now get rid of any of the problems on there and we can use the x and y offsets to position this should we need to so we can position it exactly as we want make sure we've got all the relevant and most important parts of the image in there once we're happy we're all good to go and we just finish the job if you want to reset this at any point if you hold the alt key down your keyboard you see that the upright and transform options now change to reset upside upright and reset transform so it allows us to reset those back to the way they were when we loaded the image in before we start making the transformations so now we're ready to go in and fully edit that image to end up with a nice straight and colorful image well i hope you found this video useful if you have please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week and if you've got any comments questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel please pop those in the comment section below we read and try to answer every question posted. If you do enjoy the tutorials we put out on this channel, please consider popping over to Amazon where you can purchase the new ebook we released on the Kindle store, Eight Essential Adobe Lightroom Techniques, where we go into detail about different techniques that every Adobe Lightroom user should really have in their arsenal. Link is in the description below and your support is much appreciated. Well, until next time, take care.